This your boy AL Beat and I'm back again with another YouTube reaction video. And in this video, I will be reacting to Slim Jimmy Ash Random Fan or Head. She says yes. And I kept seeing this on my recommended videos as well, not as <clears throat> I kept seeing this video on my recommended videos every time I log into YouTube. So every time I log into YouTube, they recommend me to watch this video. I don't understand why. I look at, no, I ain't look at, I look at the title. Then I go back, I bypass it. Then I go look at Raiders videos and stuff like that. So I continue to see it, continue to see it, continue to see it, continue to see it. Then I seen other people's titles reacting to it. I'm like, damn, this was a good video or something. So... I scrolled past video and seen how many views he had. He had over like a hundred, I said hundred, a million views. So, so I guess everybody been reacting to it and watching it. So, I'm like, I really don't want to react to this. I really don't react to negative stuff anymore. But this might just be the last negative video I react to. But let me go ahead and react to it. Whatever. I'm tired right now. Got a lot on my mind. I'm trying to get my business stuff situated. So let's get into the video. I know y'all tired of hearing me talk, but all right, here we go. I'm eating chicken in the Aston Martin right now. Shrimp like shit, huh? Okay, so I so I open my open my mini bar because I want a Coca Cola. I want to get a cold drink or whatever. And guess what I see? I got a rubber duck. I got a rubber duck. I always wanted to have one of these little one of these ducks. And they got the little Hilton thing on. I don't got a license, but I got I don't got a license, no, but I got a feeling. He don't know her. You know her, motherfucker. Live your life for yourself. Can't nobody else live for you. This nigga wanna eat a random girl pussy. How do you know she don't got anything? That motherfucker could have herpes or warts or something. And you ain't gonna stick your tongue down that shit. Fucking clown. When can't nobody tell you how to live your life and can't nobody tell you what's best for you. You know what's best for you, so do what's best for yourself. Be successful. Be great. Do you. Be your best version of you, Shemai. We got another sold out show today, guys. But hold on, hold on. You just don't do stuff like that. See, it's like, see, like, these YouTubers are overrated, though. See, most of the YouTube channels are overrated. Some viewers and subscribers, they just praise the wrong thing. They acknowledge and give the wrong shit attention. Like, everything don't deserve attention. Because that shit right there is setting a bad example for the next generation. You don't do shit like that. They're just a random person. And you talking about, do you want some big head? Like, do you know her? No. So... I feel like you sending the wrong message to the viewers and subscribers. And that's not cool, but hey, 
I ain't trying to bash you or anything, but hey, do what you do, what you do, man. Do what you do. Like eating random pussy, eat random pussy. But hey, you just set the bad example. But all right, let me continue. It's early as fuck. They lining it up already. It's me, Sway, Bobo, Impact, Mississippi niggas, man. I dropped out of school to play with the professionals. Good. Skr, skr, skr. Hey, gang, gang, gang. You did. Look at my beautiful state. Super low. We told y'all we some small town boys, didn't we? <laughs> Welcome to the city of Tupelo. Everybody knows. Nobody else can shoot that tiger. Nobody else can kill that bear. Let me end this video right here. I ain't gonna end it. I'm gonna stop it. But the reason why his video got so many views is because of the title. The title. The title. Because people love negative shit. People love sexual things. And that's why his video got so many views. And that's crazy. Because as a young black man and a young black male, you should never present yourself to the world like the way he just did. Just randomly asking a random person that you don't know, do you want some head? And she dumb enough to say, yeah. Like, this generation, this generation growing up now, got a lot of growing up to do. They have a lot of growing up to do. They think tomorrow is promised. Tomorrow not promised. You don't know what this girl have, and she don't know what you have. She don't know what you could have. Like, I wouldn't know nobody. Nasty ass pussy on my mouth. I want my I don't even want my dick in somebody's mouth. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. But all right, it is what it is. But this your boy LB. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Give me y'all opinion. Tell me what y'all think. Would you? Uh, what would you do if your child just walked up to a random person and asked them, "Do you want this head?" And how would you feel if your daughter, if, if somebody asked your daughter, "Uh, do you want some head, or you want this head, or give me some head?" And she said, "Yeah." Tell me how you would feel. Like, picture if that was your child. That what people need to understand. Picture if that was your child. What would you do in that situation? But, all right, this your boy LB. This is LBTV. I'm out. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Nobody else. Day.